It's absolutely crucial that this framework agreement is scrapped. It's been going now since the start of February and things are seriously starting to fall apart. From the point of view of the government not making a laughing stock of itself, it should be scrapped. And certainly from the point of view of equal access to justice for non-English speakers in British courts, this framework agreement should be scrapped. It's endangering people's access to justice. What do we want? Justice! What do we want it now? Our message to the government justice! is professional now? interpreters are here to serve the courts. We will not cave in. We will not start working for the government's preferred provider, ALS or Capita, uh, whichever way you look at it. Our members have got far too much professional pride to associate themselves with a company with such a poor, poor reputation. And we simply don't want the reputation that ALS interpreters are now giving our profession in the courts to rub off on us. Last week alone there was a trial at Snaresbrook that collapsed costing about £25,000 it's estimated and the defendant in that case is now going to have to wait in uh, custody on remand until a date for a retrial is set. In addition to the wasted cost applications we're already seeing we know that there are a number of uh, non-English speakers who were not provided with an interpreter as a result of ALS's failings and they are now making damages claims and they are making those claims on the basis of human rights breaches. The last uh, thing that's very likely to happen very very soon is for an ALS linguist to find themselves in the dock for contempt of court because effectively if you walk into a court pretending that you are a qualified interpreter and you can do the job and you're subsequently found out not to be any of those things that effectively amounts to contempt.